please go watch this video by Wrath of Math. I have the link in the description. The best part about math is simplifying very complex problems. E equals mc squared, obviously, arguably the most famous um, equation. And if you understand this equation, you know how complicated it is, but it is represented in a very simple way. Just like this looks complicated, but the reality is it is very simple. It is one half or 50%. So when solving any problem in life, it is the exact same thing as solving a math problem. We want to eliminate the irrelevant information and focus on the simple information that is relevant to solving the problem. Now, all this is is a game. What we do is we take the even numbers and we add one and the odd numbers and we times it by zero and then we get our six, we record the number. So we it's basically a 50-50 chance. We either get an even number or an odd. So we got 50%, 50%, plus 50% equals 1.5. Now, I understand that this is not how you add probability together. What we have got to understand is it's not just odd or even. There's a lot more to the problem. We need to have a sequence of numbers that ends in a 6. They can't just be even. And if we roll an, if we roll an odd number, the sequence is then over with the zero. So to understand it in a simpler format, we need to find another way to come up with this answer. So the problem is we have six sides of the die. We have four sides that end the sequence and one of the sides that we record. Six divided by four divided by one equals 1 1.5. It's the exact same answer that you explained in an incredibly complex way, which undoubtedly to me is all factual, correct information, because I got the same answer. I just did it in a different way. The best part is we can check. So we, I sat and rolled this die close to, um, for close to an hour. And this is what I came up with. So I would just roll, and then so I'd count one, zero, start over. Boom, one, and record a one, okay? Every time you keep counting. So then I got two, one, and I did one, two, three, four, five rows of the paper, just to get, you, you need five to find a good average. So in doing that, I just filled it up and I got 32 for 20 rolls, I got a score of 33 for 25, 34 for 24, 42 for 23, 36 for 26, giving us a grand total of 177 for 118, which equals exactly 1.5. Altogether, I had 118 successful sequences. 80 of those sequences ended in one point, 27 ended in two points, five ended in three points, three ended in four points, two ended in one, five points, and one ended in six points. Um, it was very fascinating to see all the combinations of numbers and how many odds you get. Um, I recommend everybody try this. It's quite a fun game just to roll the dice and see how long, just play even, you score one, odd, you start back at zero, and when you get six, record whatever number you're at. Um, yeah, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Thanks.